Hello there and welcome. I'm Mary Grave and today we are building a small Victorian house. But before I start talking about the build itself, I want to give you a little update. As you maybe noticed, I was gone for a while, I took a break, um, you know how it is, sometimes life is just becoming too much and I needed to rest. But in the end I missed building in The Sims and I missed to edit videos and so here I'm back. But because I'm such a slow builder and it takes me a while till I edited a video and took a voice over, I will have to do a new kind of schedule for YouTube. Uh, I will probably not be able to post every week because, you know, it takes me already like two evenings until I build a house completely and then I always had to rush things with editing and so I can post my videos. So um, yeah, I will try to post every second week, every other week uh, to YouTube, but Probably I will not do this uh, more often than this. But anyway, let's talk about the build itself. So I built this uh, house in Ukraine on a 20 by 15 lot. It has two bedrooms and two bathrooms and it costs something under 60,000 simoleons. And seriously, I do not understand how this could get so expensive. So Obviously, it's not a starter home. Uh, I will try in future to build some starter homes, uh, but it's just so hard. I don't know how other simmers do this. But anyway, um, I built this house in Newcrest, and the reason for this is because I finally want to make my own Newcrest Newcrest save file. Because every time I start a new gameplay, I so I'm so annoyed about uh, this empty world, and I never play in it because I'm I just want to start playing and don't build houses there before I can start. So here I am with uh, kind of the first build uh, for Newcrest. As you see, there are my other builds in the background, and uh, that's because I decided to to keep my uh, houses from the tiny history p in the save file and that's because uh, i have the idea of a themed uh, newcrest save file and i want to make all the lots here uh, in a victorian style and i am almost done with every lot in the first neighborhood as you maybe notice in the intro there is a big victorian house that's not probably, I will not probably, I will probably not <laughs> uh, post it as the next build because I wasn't happy with the backyard. But I will tell you this when I finally post this video. So we are moving to the interior and um, I decided for this build to uh, have this light and pastel light kind of colors in it. and. I don't know, I just feel like this. Maybe it was like the sunny weather and the spring is finally arriving and now it's cold again. <laughs> but it's definitely something different that I usually do and I wanted to I want for my save file to be to have very variety uh, and not like every build represents me and my taste, but to make it more interesting. And in the end, for the save file, I plan to also make families. Uh, and I really have a lot of ideas for the families. And I started to make like this big family trees and uh, to put some family members in other cities uh, in The Sims, uh, just so it's more interesting. and. By the way, yeah, that's uh, fitting the theme right now. Uh, the new pack was announced, as you probably know already, and with this there shall come a family tree update. So uh, before I start really making my families, I will wait until the pack um, to make the family trees. Uh, and I'm so excited for this pack. 
I have to admit, like, it's the first pack since paranormal stuff that I'm so excited about. And I tried uh, my luck in every giveaway I saw just so I can play it immediately. Or I will just, for the first time in my sim life, buy a pack for the full price. <laughs> I don't know yet. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited. And so um, that's for that. And for this family, I have a, you know, a calm suburban family in mind. And I will tell a bit more about them when we co uh, come to the bedrooms upstairs. So, as I said, for uh, the interior, I decided to settle on light and pastel colors. So, obviously, the first floor will represent more the, the parents who are living in here, more than the teenager, uh, which I decided to live here. And I tried to give the, the family just this cozy spaces where they can live together, talk to each other, and so on. And, uh, well, for, for the furniture, I uh, did something not so typical for me, and I mixed a lot of different packs in one room, like in the living room, you can see that I used Parenthood, Cats and Dogs, the Laundry Stuff Pack, and Paranormal, uh, and the Paranormal Stuff Pack. And, yeah, while I was on my break, I bought a lot of expansions to revive my love for building, uh, I suppose. And I have now all of the big expansion packs, and uh, therefore I also have Snowy Escape. <laughs> and I warn you now, uh, and I will probably warn you in every next video that will come, uh, there is like almost always a uh, Japanese picture somewhere, and I don't know, obviously all of my families will travel to Japan <laughs> or to the Sims equivalent of Japan, Mount Komorawi. Um, I, there's just something about this Japanese pictures that touch me. I, I just think they're so cute and beautiful and, um, yeah. <laughs> If you don't have the pack, then obviously they will not uh, show up in your game when you download this build. But, um, yeah. We, I also think that we just don't have enough uh, cute wall art in The Sims, uh, unless you download some from the gallery. Uh, and that's... Uh, I should download some and and place it in my builds i suppose because uh you know there there's just in my opinion there is not enough uh to you know to make the builds more very more in regards of of decoration but anyway uh i mean it's just decoration and i don't know if i myself when i play i i don't decorate my builds that much and i also don't care so much about that so that's it and you know it's more like for the aesthetic and for the picture pictures in the end for me so behind this uh, door you see here there is a second bathroom downstairs it has a toilet and a bath uh, and a, a sink and i put also some the laundry uh, machine in there if you don't like to make laundry you can feel free to put a shower in here. I um, I also uh, did cut out this part because in the end I decided for completely different furniture in the downstairs bath that is matching more the upstairs bath, which you can see here right now. I also did cut out the upper hallway uh, because I didn't... it's decorated but not that much. Uh, you know, it's not a space where uh, the sims will sit or do anything so i decided to keep it simple uh and you know the building is uh, this house is expensive enough so it is like that um and you know one of the reasons i also did cut it out is because um 
I don't want to make videos that are 20, longer than 20 minutes. Uh, for one, I don't think uh, that people are ready or you're ready to watch such long, long videos with rooms that are not that Im important in, in the game. And also, I think I would struggle uh, with a voiceover that fits to it. So here I'm back in the dining area because I I forgot to decorate it and it's so funny because while I was building it when I moved to the living room I was like oh I need to decorate the dining area I'm not allowed to forget it then I took a break and obviously I forgot it and did something else and this happened this happened like three times <laughs> until I was like okay you concentrate yourself and you will decorate this dining area. And so here it is. Um, obviously, there's not so much space uh, to decorate with. Um, by the way, if you hear some noises uh, or s something strange in the background, even though I have noise reduction on, that's my dog because I'm here in the living room uh, recording this voiceover and sometimes she just comes over, jumps from, from the couch and comes over to see what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, because uh, I have a dog now and uh, since since um, July uh, last year and um, it's for her, it's the first time uh, seeing me doing this and I think uh, she thinks it's weird. She looks at me right now, staring at me, <laughs> a bit confused, but uh, I mean, she watch my boyfriend in home office regularly talking on the phone so it's not like a complete strange situation for her so here we are in, in the master bedroom and for this family i decided that one of the parents sims their home it's a stay-at-home parent but they also have a side hustle in, in knitting and that's also one pack i got myself uh, during my break and I really enjoyed the gameplay with knitting and I really enjoyed Plopsy because it makes it so much harder to earn money than just to sell it from, from the inventory and sometimes you just wait and wait until someone wants to buy this product and I really do enjoy this and I'm now I'm always using Plopsy to sell my crafted items. Um, the other parents, um, I think they for them, I have to decide which career they will take. Uh, I think they will have a normal job and do their work from some uh, rabbit hole kind of thing. So, you know, the knitting sim just needs a cute little nook uh, to work on their stuff. And this chair, uh, it's, it's so cute because it's fluffy and it's from the um, high school pack and uh, I had to put it in it. It just fits the color scheme of the bedroom perfectly and when I saw it, I actually saw it for the first time while I was building this room and I was just immediately in love. Um, now we are here at the teenage bedroom and I don't know about you but when I saw the trailer or when, when the pack theme was announced that will come in March, I was so sure we get bands. And I'm kind of sure we get bands since the last two or three packs, like it would have fit perfectly for the wedding story pack or for the werewolf packs. And, um, but yeah, I think it's quite obvious now that we will not get bands in this pack. Uh, but anyway, this teenage Sam enjoys music and so he is the son of uh, from a previous rela previous relationship of his father uh, with whom he lives here now with his uh, new mom and um his biological mother she is actually uh, uh, an aspiring musician in del sol Ve valley and um you know the big plan is to redo all of the old worlds someday, but we will see how it turns out. Uh, 
But as I said, I want to have this big family trees where Sims can visit each other. And uh, so I p will put the extended family of the Sims in my save file too. So we're at the backyard now and we're coming to an end of this video. You know, this backyard is very small, so there are not many things to do. You can barbecue, gardening, and do the laundry in here. Um, so, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. This keeps me motivated. If you want to see more pictures of this build, you can follow me on Instagram. The link is down below. And I have also an inspiration board on Pinterest. Uh, you can also find the link in the description box down below for this. And I wish you a lovely week and we will see us soon again. So bye bye.